Now we're going to look at a few case studies of the successful use of social media in education. So the first of these is iEARN. It's actually a tool I used 30 odd years ago now when I very first started teaching. Um, we were doing teddy bear exchanges between schools and iEARN was managing that project as an educational project where students would communicate with each other around the globe as their teddy bears or dolls traveled to different schools. So it has a long history of engagement with education and the use of various um, educational online tools and social media tools to support those activities. So have a look at iEARN. Then look at Edutopia. Now this is a little bit different again. It was very much around sharing of experiences, uh, mostly by educators and their classroom practices. And the main advantage it then had was its global reach. So it sort of grew from a blog based platform into a social media type environment. And it is primarily focused around the sharing of professional practice by educators. Now, then we have some other tools such as the Common Sense Media Parents Group. Now, this emerged um, as a originally as a Facebook group, and it was primarily aimed at sharing advice to parents around the educational use or misuse of various um, often movies, but other media and educational resources. So it has some controversy associated with it, but it has proven to be a very useful tool for many uh, parents as they navigate the use of various educational resources that are available. Um, and the final one is looking at the short form video, in this case, TikTok, and um, educators sharing short video clips for their students on how to learn various concepts, um, explore various techniques and approaches. And in this case, it's looking at physics concepts. So there's quite a number of these sites that have emerged and developed, some quite um, prolific in terms of their use by students. And it's certainly currently the most popular educational use of social media. So examine those case studies and think about the key strategies that have been employed in them that made them successful. So I've given you a list of some various elements that you should consider when looking at social media and its use in education and why some tools and approaches have been successful and others very much unsuccessful. And what I'd like you to consider then is how you would create your own social media. So again, I've given you a couple of readings. So look at those and then share to teams an approach you would have to creating a successful social media-based educational experience.